so whatever it takes i am just going to start today's video hello everyone this is amol and you are watching how it works on youtube channel um today i am going to talk about microsoft intra id uh what are the plans and uh, which one is useful for your organization so i'll tell you the difference uh, between these three uh plans so there is a one plan is microsoft intra id uh, free and there is a, another microsoft intra id p1 and the intra id p2 so there are three uh, licenses available free is obviously uh, it's a free you don't have to pay it comes by default with the uh, uh with when you create a tenant and uh, p1 and p2 you need to purchase so i will go through that and what you are getting with the free and the p2 p1 and the p2 license so as you can see on the screen i'll i'll explain you the microsoft intra id p1 and the microsoft intra id p2 these two license and the third one is microsoft intra id free edition that is i'm going to compare i'm not going to include this microsoft intra suite in today's video i sometime i will create another video on that but right now as a scope of this video three license free p1 and p2 so what you are going to get with the microsoft uh, intra id free it provides the user as basic functionality creating a users uh, on prem uh, active directory synchronization a uh, basic reporting and self service password change for cloud user only okay single sign on for uh, across the azure or microsoft 365 apps and uh, many uh, popular saas applications that is what comes with the microsoft intra id free so that is yeah so that is comes with the free p1 basically it gives you little bit extra and as you can see on the screen that is it is comes with the conditional access and uh, conditional access is the main thing uh, main feature of uh, microsoft intra id p1 and that is also comes with the p2 obviously uh, are back and then the sharepoint limit access session lifetime management and all these these security uh, features that that comes with the microsoft intra id p1 license and this license also include with the microsoft business premium that you can see for the small business uh when you purchase a microsoft 365 business premium license the p1 license comes with 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 that and it is also a stand alone license so you can take a individual p1 license uh, uh as per your requirement and uh yeah so uh this is intra id p1 but uh i am going to tell you the what p2 license gives you uh the extra functionality that is not comes with the p1 license and that is the main uh topic of this video that how p2 license will help help your organization to boost your security uh microsoft p2 includes additional uh to the feature that is included in the free and the p1 p2 includes microsoft intra id protection to help uh, provide a risk based conditional access to to your apps and the critical company data and the the pim that is a privilege identity management to help discover restrict and uh, monitor administrators uh this kind of things that comes with the p2 license so uh, when you drop down this uh, identity protection and you clearly see the difference that uh, and the benefits that we are going to get from the uh, p2 license so risk based conditional access and real time dynamic uh, sign in assessment so i'm not going to read this all this uh, these are the pretty much uh, you can see on the screen all these uh, security uh, features that comes with the p2 license and token protection this will i will create another uh, video for this separate video it is very uh, interesting and everyone should use this uh, feature with the conditional access so i will cover this in the next video uh, but as a part of this i am going to uh, cover identity protection 
and uh, you can see the real real time you can uh, if you have a p2 license in a real time you can block the users uh, sign in and uh, if the user is detected as a risk user then also we can you know ask user to automatically we can ask user to re-authenticate with the multi-factor authentication or we can block uh, their access immediately in a real time so this is the main and the uh, the great i would say the great feature of um, p2 license but as you can see on the screen that p1 license comes uh, it's a dollar six and the p2 license that is a dollar nine so uh, keep this in mind <laughs> okay i am going to um, jump on the my screen where the conditional access policy i page i already opened and you can open that from the protection when you enter id.microsoft.com and then the protect protection and the conditional access and you can see in the policies uh, there are two policies i have created in the report only mode and it's the same policy you can create uh, without uh, listing or uh, you can just create these two policies from the uh, policy template that Microsoft has provided to us to kickstart. Um, so basically, when you go into Zero Trust uh, tab and show more, and you will see there is there are two policies that is already there. Um, that two policies you can, if you have a P2 license, you can just implement uh, them in a read uh, report only mode. Uh, then you can just analyze. Uh, the result desired result if you are getting and uh, and test ask user and just try to log in the user from different different location and then just see how it is that policy is reacting and just see the report and their authentications and all and then yeah then then based on that you can turn on the policy uh, so required multi-factor authentication this is the two policy that I am talking about the require multi factor authentication for risky sign-in and the required password change for the high risk users so this policies I have already created and you can see that so when you whenever you create the policy you will see the first that policy is in a report only so it's not going to affect any user uh, unless you turn on that policy so the policy what policy says I will walk you through uh, required multi-factor multi-factor authentication for uh, risky sign-ins so it's it's applied to all users and you can see that nothing uh, no exception in the network there is one conditional access and it is uh, applied to all cloud apps okay and uh, one condition here is sign-in risk is high and medium so whichever user uh, finds Microsoft detect is a uh, risky sign-in and that uh, priority like uh, risk level is uh, high or the medium that that those users only uh, that this policy only apply to those users whichever user has the risky sign in high and medium okay and once that is there then this is the control that we set as a default is a grant access with the multi-factor authentication and session is every time user logged in every time it's going to check and uh, yeah the multi-factor authentication need to uh, need to verify to get the access okay so this is what its policy says and the same goes with the another policy and uh, you can say selected grant grant access and this time required password change so this this time it's not only the required uh, multi-factor authentication but that user need to change his password uh, after that user finds a high risk user okay by the by the microsoft and this also again it will check on the sign in frequency like every time it will check and once like after just check for a few few days how the users reacting with this policy and then make a uh, then then only turn on this policy and 
in the microsoft identity uh, protection what you are what you are going to get with the reporting the advanced reporting that is going to come with the microsoft intra id p2 license so you can clearly see on the screen the the graphs and the reporting at the dashboard it will looks like this so you can see the graphs and it will shows the how many uh, users are uh, protected and how many users are blocked and how many users are not remediated uh, with this policy so you can see uh, the whole statistics and uh, uh, with the p2 license uh, you also get a dark web scanning so if if our users credentials found on the dark web that is also going to detect by the microsoft so that's all these features you are going to get and with the statistics for the last um one year and uh, you can see this this kind of data and graphs and the remediation and recommendation based on the your risk exposure uh this kind of recommendation you will get uh, from the p2 license uh, this will not part of this these things is not a part of a p1 license so recommendations all you get with the p2 license and uh, choose p2 uh, if you require advanced security features such as identity protection privilege access management that is pim and the compliance review and external user collaboration so it's up to you and keep that in mind that is uh, p2 license comes with the nine dollar uh, and the p1 license comes with the six dollar uh, in the next video i am going to uh, talk about another license product that is a uh, microsoft uh, security fi and this license recently microsoft put this in public uh, domain and now you can use that license and this license uh, it's a great okay uh, please please watch my next video about uh, uh, Microsoft security e-file license and it will really help you to save some money and your security level goes on upper tier and after that you don't need any license to protect your organization that is the ultimate license in the microsoft here so please be tuned be tuned for my next video on security if i thank you